I'm not sure who this message is for, but God placed this message on my heart and I just want to be obedient and make this video. Whoever you are watching this video, I promise you, I promise you that this video is going to help you all. I just challenge you to stay until the end of the video because I really want you to get everything I'm about to share with you. So a few days ago, I was walking through the store looking for a gift for my daughter, just like any good father would, right? I'm thinking about my child. So I walk to the toy section. I'm looking around. I'm looking around. I'm looking around. About 10 minutes passed by and I locked eyes with the perfect gift. It was this ball. I said, man, this ball is so good. You, you can roll the ball. You can learn to shoot. You can do all these things. And I'm pretty sure that she would love this gift. So I started walking down to the self-checkout, right? And, you know, they don't, normally don't have a long line. So I went to the self-checkout. Boop. I scanned the thing. Now, I'll be honest with you. The price was, look, the price was way up there. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't prepared to pay that much. But, hey, I did what I had to do. Why? That for my daughter, right? So I scanned. I mean, I, I went ahead and paid it. As I got ready to walk out the door, uh, one of the guys that... Uh, that guard the door to check your receipts. They look at my receipt, they kind of look at it, and they look at me, and I'm looking back at them, like, hold on a second, like, ain't no problem here. I just I just paid the ultimate price for this thing. It don't matter what tags on your shirt, it might say manager, assistant manager, like, this thing belongs to me now. And I walked out of the store with so much joy. Here's what I'm trying to tell you today. God loved you so much, John 3, 16. God so loved the world. Not just, didn't say God loved the world. God so loved the world. He gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever, talking about you, whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Listen, a, a God bankrupt heaven with his son just to get you back. That's how valuable you are. Here I am in the natural, a, a natural father, and this thing costs me a lot, but you know what? It's worth it. My daughter loves this thing. I'll do whatever I have to do for my child. You understand? So listen, it doesn't matter what the tag on your shirt say at the store. You can be manager, assistant manager. None of that matters. I paid for this gift and it's mine now. It might have been yours five minutes ago when it was back there in the bucket, right? But I'm gone with my gift. I'm Listen, I'm going, I'm going to nourish this thing. I'm going to protect this thing. This thing is going to a good home. So I want to remind you today that God loves you so much. Listen, your identity is with divinity. You are one of one. You have your own fingerprint. Nobody else is like you. God made you special. So you watching this video, I want you to take a minute, look at yourself and remind yourself, you know what? I'm a child of God. I'm so valuable. I don't want to stay in that bucket in the store. I want to open my arms and say, Lord, pick me up. Lord, use me. And I want to accept the fact that he's already paid the price for me. But see, a lot of us, we want to stay in the bucket. We want to stay in the world. We don't want to put our hope in Jesus. We don't want to leave that familiar environment. But Jesus is saying, come on. I've already paid the price for you. I'm going to read you a scripture. I'm in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 20. Look, my daughter crying right now. I Look, I know how to solve that problem. Watch this. See, man, I'm trying to tell you, man, you was bought. I'm in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 20. For ye are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. You understand? Listen, you are bought with a price. <laughs> you are bought with a price. Jesus Christ is the ultimate sacrifice for you. He died on the cross for your sins, your guilt, your shame. Any and everything you want to add to that sentence, he died for it all. You understand? I'm going to read you another one. I'm right here in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 23. It says, God paid a high price for you, so don't be enslaved by the world. Then we could go into Romans chapter 1, uh, I'm, Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. It says, I beseech you therefore, brother, by the mercy of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, right? Holy and acceptable, which is your reasonable service. Then it goes in and says, and do not be conformed to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So you renew your mind to the mind of Christ. Don't be like the world. Don't conform to the pattern of the world. Those gimmicks and games. Listen, it's a dead end street. No matter which road you're going down in the world, I'm, I promise you, it's a dead end street. And God is saying, understand that I paid the price for you. Do you accept me? And you may say, yeah, I already accepted him. Now, the next question is, do you choose to live for him and literally lay down your life for him? Surrender everything. 
That means God coming before you, everything, your family. It doesn't matter what it is. It has to be submitted before God. Because see, only God, right, can make you the right type of husband. Only God can make you the right type of wife. Only God can make you the right type of vessel. And you just lift your hands up and say, Lord, I want to be used. And I promise you, I promise you, if you spend time talking to God, listen, man, people may say, you know, well, how do you build a relationship with God? The same way you do in the natural with a person. What do you do? You spend time with them, right? You not only talk, but you listen. Listen, I promise you, if you spend time with God, you 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 will receive a closeness. You will you 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 will experience something and you say, "Man, I wish I was doing this sooner." Cuz understand one thing, see, time spent with God is never time wasted. Many people that look at that watch and they say, "Oh, I've been I, I've been I've been in traffic for 10 minutes. I've been do Hey, I, I, I got a secret for you. Use that traffic time to worship the Lord. Put you on some music and say, Lord, I just choose to sit in your presence. Lord, I really don't know what to say. Lord, I really don't know how, how to articulate in words, Lord. But I trust that, that, that you understand where I'm coming from. My, I have a posture of worship. I choose to marinate in your presence in this car. I got some music on, Lord. I pray that you speak to me. Listen, God honors that. I would rather you just lay out before the Lord for five minutes and say nothing and do nothing rather than say, I, I'm not going to do it anyway. Take take a small practical step because God is looking for you to, to, to draw. The Bible says, draw nigh to me and I will draw nigh to you. That means take that step and draw nigh to him because, listen, if you got a football field that's, uh, how for the football field, 100 yards, something like that. Listen, if you take one step, he'll take that 99. But see, you got to take that step. God loves you so much. Hey, if you made it to the end of this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you made it to the end of this video, I need you to comment these words below. Let me get this ball. Look, hey, if you made it to the end of this video, I need you to comment these words. Little pink ball, okay? If you made it to the end of this video, comment little pink ball ball that lets me know you made it to the end of the video and i'm gonna comment under that and i'm gonna say man you are real when you made it all the way to the end i love you all so much i'll see you tomorrow morning six o'clock a.m central time have a good day here you go baby